day, we're in the herd with outdoor track and field. After opening the season at the University of Virginia last Saturday, Coach Kevin Donner's team gets its first opportunity to host a meet when UMBC and St. Francis visit Christy Mathewson Memorial Stadium. Looking back to last weekend, Coach Donner was really impressed with his team's performance. It was literally a rust buster. We haven't had an indoor season. Our first uh, outdoor meet at Navy got canceled because of the, the pause over at Navy. So it was a long time coming. We hadn't had a track and field meet since March, uh, early March of uh, 2000 with the ECA CIC 4A indoor meet. And then uh, to open up at UVA was, uh, it was just a relief to get out there. While all of the members of his team were smiling and having fun last weekend, he knows they'll really be smiling this weekend. Oh, being at home is always great. Number one, we get to sleep in. You know, we had to leave at like 5.30 a.m. to get down to UVA. Uh, so uh, being in our own bed, sleeping in a little bit, our own home track, uh, UMBC and St. Francis are you know, teams that we think we can compete well against, and, and we're looking forward to having them here. Senior Alex Butts recorded the second best ever pole vault in school history at UVA. And after about a year of practice, she felt that she might do well on Saturday, but she thinks that she can go even higher. I've been working on getting on bigger poles and a longer run, and so I feel like I still have a decent amount of height left that I can get. So by the time I graduate, I want to clear at least 13. And I think I definitely can do that. But says that the team was excited that Virginia let their parents attend the meet. Uh, yeah, my teammates were all really supportive of each other. And so they were so excited for me, like high-fiving me right after. And it was nice. UVA allowed spectators like around the outside. So my parents were able to be there. And so that was exciting too. Fellow senior Alex Desoy says that competing in the meet alone was a victory of sorts. I mean, I think overall as a team, we, we perform a little well. I think some of the guys are a little disappointed about their times, but, you know, me and other guys are just, you know, getting the younger guys used to being like, yeah, you might have a bad race, and it's, you know, the first meeting over a year. You really didn't know what you were going to expect. So not like trying to say lower your expectations, but, you know, you have a good set point right now, and every meet you know you have to do better now. So now we'll start holding people responsible, getting them, you know, to want to get their times down, and I think people are excited that we just get the run again. He says that he can hardly wait for Sunday. I haven't had a home meet since my sophomore year and, and you kind of miss it. Love the new track, love the colors, love the stadium atmosphere and just happy to go against some good competition. Definitely a more competitive meet, more people will be in heats, more people racing each other and I think it'll definitely work to our advantage. We've been waiting to compete all winter and now we get to compete some against some of the good teams in the East and more, more um, people will be in each event so it'll make people more competitive. Sunday's meet between UMBC, St. Francis, and the Bison runs all day at Christy Mathewson Memorial Stadium.